it's Beck and Deb and welcome to our How Do I Thrive series. So before we get into our video for today, I'd like to tell you about something Beck and I have been up to. We have been creating Relationship School mm -hmm. and we're really excited about it. Um, we work really hard and we are going to, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be amazing. So basically we just wanted to tell you about it in case you wanted to go and have a look. You can find out about it on our website, daretobeyou.co.uk and you can find it on there and you can go and have a look all about it. And if you've got any questions at all, please feel free to be in touch with us. Us. Yeah, so today's video, how do I thrive after an abusive relationship? Wow, <clears throat> now that's an interesting question, isn't it? Mm. Um, <clears throat> for me, what I see around those kinds of relationships now is something very, very different to how I used to view those kinds of things. Um, I And I think it can be quite difficult to hear initially but it is absolutely it's life-changing when we begin to see the truth about abusive relationships because it can look like when you're in a relationship like that and there are two people in that relationship you and the person who you feel is being abusive to you um, and the reason that I can talk about this so much is because this is my own experience. I'm talking from my own experience here. And I know what it really, really looks like to feel that somebody is doing something to you. And that is what it, it really feels that way. It really um, seems as if that is what is going on. And one of the questions that very, very often gets asked for people who have never been in that situation is, why doesn't the person just leave? Now, the reason that we don't just leave an abusive relationship is because what is actually going on is you're not in an abusive relationship with another person. You're in an abusive relationship with your own mind. It's something within you that keeps you in that situation. It is something within you that allows that to happen. Now, this is not in any way shape or form about blame this isn't this does not mean that there is something wrong with you this does not mean that this is your fault this is not on any level at all about fault so let me be clear about that um, but what I have seen is as we begin to understand that and look in that direction we actually start to put the problem right where the problem is because I'm, I'm not, there's, there's no part of me that agrees with the behaviour of people, you know, that, that um, are violent or that talk to you in a horrible way, that talk down to you, that um, manipulate you with, you know, words and things like that. There's no way that I condone that behaviour at all. But the only reason that we would get into that position in the first place is because of something that is going on within ourselves. And one of the reasons why I'm going to say that isn't about blame at all, and it's actually a good thing, because if it wasn't that, then we would be stuck. There would be nothing we could do, because this, if this was about somebody else, what could we do about it? You know, we can't make somebody else act in a different way. So it's actually really, really good news. So if you can kind of put aside any blame at all, and just begin to see that this is about you learning to understand your own mind and learning to be your own best friend, learning to see your own worth, learning to see how amazing you are. And as we see those things, relationships change and heal or we naturally leave them because we are more in our right mind. Yeah, and I think kind of what you're saying there fits really beautifully with the name of our business as Dare to Be You, because oh. that for me is kind of, our business name came from exactly what Deb's pointing to there, that as you kind of, you know, if you've been in that kind of position where in some way or another you felt like there's been some um, emotional abuse, emotional, um, that kind of behaviour or physical, it, either of those, as you kind of come out of that situation, it's about actually getting back to knowing yourself. Absolutely. Getting to know who you are and being who you are. 
I can remember for me this the scenario that happened for me um, it was kind of a work situation actually and, and when I went into my next job after I'd come out of um, an unhealthy work environment in my next job it took me about six months before I kind of started to see a difference in my reactions like if somebody my boss at the time um, in my new job would come towards my desk I'd start to feel anxious and sweaty and kind of like what are they going to say what have I done wrong this time um, and it took a while before I really started to get in touch with who I truly am and to see that for what it was to see that it was my thinking in that moment that was kind of triggering that reaction and that very much for me is how I started to thrive after that scenario I started to look at who I was, where that had, you know, how had that happened? How had I got myself into that kind of a situation? And how had I not got out sooner, exactly like Deb said? It isn't as obvious as it looks from the outside. Mm. But the more we kind of look within, the more we look at what's actually creating our experience, that just started dropping away from me. I started to see that I was making up that my new boss might do something, say something, not be happy with me. I was just entirely making that up. I was entirely going on in my own head. That you know, and the more I started to look within, the less I thought, you know, oh, I've got to try and survive here, keep my head down, not be seen. And I just started thriving. You know, I started to actually be braver about who I was, how well I can work, what kind. And I took on new jobs. I took on new projects. That kind of thing. I just started to thrive because I understood what was really going on for me. I understood who I was. I saw how I'd ended up where I had, and I saw that it didn't have to be that way anymore. Mm -hmm. So thriving for me is about getting to know yourself. It's about starting to see how we truly work. It's knowing that we get into the experiences we get into because of the thinking we innocently misunderstand. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that is absolutely imperative yeah. to understand. This isn't about blame at all and the great news is you know me and Beck are fine examples of people who are thriving <laughs> after being <laughs> in absolutely. some terrible situations and you know there is enormous hope so if this has brought anything up for you at all or you know if you're if it's made you feel a little bit angry and annoyed at us or you can see see something in this whatever we invite you to to be in touch with us and yeah, I mean, we're talking both of us here from experience. Mm. This isn't something we're just guessing about. We've Absolutely. both been through, you know, s similar situations ourselves. Mm. Um, so we're talking from experience here. And what we're saying is that, you know, you can thrive after those you situations. Can. You can. And it's all about learning to understand what really goes on within, how we really work. Because the misunderstanding out there is that other people cause us to behave or feel a certain way. Mm. And as soon as we turn it around in the other direction and see where our magic themes come happens. from, <laughs> magic happens. <laughs> so the invitation is to just see what you can see here. And like Deb said, if there's anything in this that, you know, if it's unsettled something or you want to ask a bit more, we're very, very approachable. And, you know, this is just a short video to, to start the conversation. Absolutely. But we'd love to hear from you if there's more that you want to know. And like we talked about at the beginning, we are on the 6th of April starting with a relationship school, which will be all about these sorts of topics. There'll be, you know, we're not going to shy away from anything. No. So if this is something that, you know, is perhaps an area for you that you want to look at more, relationship school could be a great place for you to get involved. Um, and there's more information about that on our website. And also, you know, you can be in touch with us directly. We'd love to hear from you. And you can also connect with us on Facebook. We have yeah. um, a Facebook group, Dare to Be You, with a purple heart at the end of it. Come along, join our Facebook group and, and get involved in this discussion. Yeah. Thanks ever so Thank much. Thank you very much.